since I was a child, I was interested in life, animals. Before I got this condition, I used it to go away and take photos from especially animals. Everything that was moving started clicking. I had so many beautiful memories with animals. I got this brain cancer, and it was impossible to work because the brain cancer gave me this kind of uh, side effect. That time, 2015, is starting the housing crisis. So the only place that I got was one basement beside one garage. So I was not working anymore, and you had no money, in the no health to work, so I lived in that uh, basement. Now, that basement was kind of a horror movie. It's uh, unbelievable. There is no windows. The ceiling is very low, so I need to walk in like this inside. Yeah. Between the garage and the basement, was cardboard separation. So every time that the car coming in and out, the gas of the, the, the car come inside my house, nobody showed living in one condition like that. The Salvation Army make contact with me and offered this marvelous house. So when I got this, I said, my God, this is too good. I have a window. I didn't have a window down there in the basement. So here I can see the sun coming down. Yeah, I can sit down here. It was a fantastic feeling. The people from Salvation Army was very nice. I am very lucky because we have about 10 uh, Salvation Army houses here. And uh, sometimes they, they make some kind of uh, street barbecue. And it's nice because the opportunity to talk to the people, talk about uh, and uh, ask questions, things like this. If I say this makes a huge difference in my life, it's, it's not enough. It's a kind of another life, born again. <laughs> Sometimes it's difficult to accept the limitations. So the best way to administrate my life is thinking about today. The mountains, the birds, the nice tea. Today is this, today is the house, today is the home, today is the place where I stayed.